learners welcome to the second session on human resource planning for events in this session we shall be discussing about the job roles in event management and the various support functions involved uh, it means that we'll be discussing about the various departments job roles in every department and how employees can be kept motivated as part of human resource planning and management uh, we have with us a very eminent expert from the event industry mr ankur kalra uh, he is the founder and chief experience officer of webgear uh, webgear is one of the leading uh, experiential marketing agencies in india with its presence across four cities and over two decades of experience uh webgear has some leading brands as its clients like adidas rackets amazon huawei samsung and many such other iconic brands webgear also has a popular uh, ip event called make me up in the beauty skin uh, skin care and hair space which was uh, initiated in 2019 uh, it's also a privilege to have ankur as our expert with us because he is one of the biggest promoters of event education in india and uh, over to you ankur our learners would like to know about uh, uh, what kind of uh, job roles are there in the event industry and what are the various departments which engage these uh, job roles and how uh, we can go ahead from there and how we can keep the employees uh, motivated through the uh, organizational life cycle so over to you ankur thank you hina and uh, i look forward to giving a little bit of um, an an overview about what are the different job roles that are there in an event organization and how proper hr uh, management of those roles can really lead to a happy organization and happy employees who work in the organization so uh, there's a small presentation that i have i just share my screen so uh, as hina said i run an agency called vipcure which is in uh, the space of event management and we we've, we've been around for about 18 years now we started in 2002 and uh, we have over 100 employees across the country and um, i believe that hr is really the crux of event management as uh managing people is more important than doing anything else our only input and our only resource is human resource so what is hr in the context of event management uh in the last one we were a little generalistic and now we will get specific to what are the roles and responsibilities of different departments and different functions in an event management organization so after listening to this session you will basically understand the various departments and job roles in an event management company and what are the ways and means to keep those people in those departments motivated in an event management organization these are the two aspects that we will be covering so i will uh, without really wasting time i will deep dive into this immediately there are four critical divisions that an event management company has in terms of hr the first is client servicing or business development it is the same department some people call it client servicing some people call it business development the second is creative and strategy the third is operations and production and the fourth is support functions these are the four clear demarcations of human resource departments in an event management organization and to the best of my knowledge uh, whatever little time that i have spent in this industry uh there is no fifth department that i can think of all other divisions come as subsets of these four particular roles today i will spend some time explaining to you what each of these roles really means and what exactly do organizations expect from employees in each of these roles and the reason for telling you all this is so that tomorrow when a you can make up your mind in case you want to get into event management you can make up your mind as to which of these particular departments excites and attracts you and therefore what are the kind of skill sets that are required in that particular department that you can hone and that you can work upon and that that you can apply for and you can impress upon 
when you really go into an event organization for an interview for that particular role. So I'll spend the next 10 odd minutes talking about what each of these roles really means for an event management organization. We will, of course, start with the client servicing and business development department. So getting straight into the client servicing and business development department. If you ask me, I've been a client servicing person all my life. Um, so client servicing and business development is actually the face of the organization. These are the people who are responsible for getting business into the organization. Um, they are the ones who represent the organization, who talk on behalf of the organization, who interact on behalf of the organization, who actually have relationships with clients on behalf of the organization and uh, are the most critical assets to the organization. So they are in one line responsible for bringing in business and connecting with clients. So there are two aspects, as you would understand from the name, client servicing and business development. Client servicing means retaining existing clients and getting business from them on a repeated basis in a timely manner, always being in touch, being connected and having relationships with existing clients. And business development means getting new business from clients, from clients, touching base with new prospective clients and getting in briefs and getting them on to the roles of the company. So they are responsible for bringing in business and connecting with clients. They're, the kind of skills that they need are making presentations, going for client meetings, being able to talk at client meetings, being able to sell ideas and concepts. They represent the client within the company and the company with clients. So it sounds a little confusing, but I'll explain to you. When we get a brief, for example, today, a Microsoft gives us a brief that they want to organize an event. I, as a client servicing person, will go to Microsoft and represent my company to Microsoft, that my company's name is Bitcure. This is the kind of business that I've done. And this is why we are the best suited to organize this event for you. Now, once that brief is given to me by the client, I will have to come back to my organization and now represent Microsoft. I will have to brief a team of people who will actually think of what is it that we can present to Microsoft? How is it that we can solve the unique problem that Microsoft has? And how is it that we can think of interesting ideas? So I'm representing my company to the client and then I'm representing client to my company. So they are that critical link which binds a client to an event management organization, the CS and BD team. They have actually end to end responsibility for all communication that happens with clients. So if a client wants to talk about a particular creative, the client wants to talk about a particular production aspect, they will not talk to the creative team. They will not talk to the production team. They will only talk to the client servicing team and solve their problem. And they are there for client servicing people is involved in each and every aspect in the entire journey from making a presentation to closing the cost to actually delivering the final product to the, um, to the client. They are involved because they are the face of the organization. The client is talking to them on a regular basis. So they are involved in each and every aspect of the business. And because they're involved in each and every aspect of the business, because they are the face of the organization, because they are responsible for bringing in business, they also usually have the fastest rate of growth within an event management agency. Yes, my friends, if you believe that you have the potential and you have the interest and you have the capability, you must definitely try your hand at client servicing and business development. It is the hardest and it is the most rewarding. Not that I'm undermining any other aspect of event management, but yes, client servicing and business development is definitely the field which has the fastest growth within the event management ecosystem. Coming to the next aspect of HR, uh, responsibilities in an event management organization, which is the operations and production. Now the client servicing person goes and sells a dream. The client servicing person are also uh, negotiating with clients, but do they actually bring that dream to life? No. The person who actually produces what, what is sold or produces the experience is the operations department. So they are the hands and legs of the organization. They actually deliver the goods. 
they are responsible for bringing dreams and ideas to reality they have to understand the concept that an that a client servicing person sells to a client and they have to give them physical shape they need to have a very firm grip on numbers and costs if they say a particular stage cost 5 lakhs and the client servicing person goes and sells it for 5 and a half lakhs to a client and when they are actually executing it that particular stage cost 10 lakhs what will happen will the client serv- servicing person be able to take out that extra 5 lakhs from the client no because they've already bought it so they need to have a very very strong grip on numbers and costs they need to think analytically so they need to have really amazing analytic so the client servicing team needs to have really good communication skills the production team needs to have really good logistics and analytical skills and they need to develop good vendor relations over a period of time they need to physically deliver under pressure there are times when my client, operations people don't go home for 2 2 days 3 3 days they are standing in the cold uh, and getting work done okay they have to physically deliver under pressure and they usually are given the task to achieve the impossible if a production person says that this stage will be made in 24 hours the client servicing person re- replies that we have only 5 hours because the client is not willing to pay an extra day at the hotel or at the venue so they have to usually achieve the impossible and that is what is the hallmark of a good operations and production team if they have taken on some challenge if they have taken on a project they usually have to deliver it right to the end they have to have ability to think on their feet and improvise there are lots of challenges come and i can think of hundreds of examples that we have had to innovate at the final production time when uh, an event is needs to be done there is a camera that needs to be there or a crane that needs to come which doesn't come in how do you an event does not have a second take they have to have they have to get it right in the first take and they are responsible of winning the war on the ground there are generals here who promise things who are sitting in delhi but the soldiers who are actually fighting the battle the commanders who are actually fighting the battle who are actually responsible for delivering the goods at the site are the operations production people and unless they have the ability to think on their feet and improvise they will not be able to be good operations or production people so if you guys feel you have good analytical skills you have a good grip of numbers you can work long hours you can think on your feet you can achieve the impossible you can deliver under pressure then you are fit for an operations or a production job in an event management org now the third so this is the trimurti the client servicing operations and the creative or the innovation within an event organization now while a client so so the key skill set required in client servicing was communication was execution in operations and is innovation or thinking in creative if you feel you are an innovator you can think out of the box you can make great designs you can write great stories you can write great concepts you can come up with great ideas with crazy innovations with newest technology then you are fit for the creative team they are the brain of the organization typically a client servicing person will come back and tell the creative team mercedes wants to launch a new car which has these features come up with a concept of how they can do it and they can do it better than anybody else in the industry can do it then they will have to come up with the slogan the idea the concept whether we'll bring the sky whether we'll bring the car down from the sky or we'll make it jump from a ocean or we'll make it appear from magic or whatever it is it is their job to create those crazy ideas to create the crazy designs to come up with the amazing concept that actually are sold to a client and then are actually executed by the operations team so they are the ones who will create the concepts and the presentation they will write the presentations with sell at the end of the day i may have the most amazing communicators i may have the most amazing executors but if my ideas don't sell it's all worth nothing somehow seems to never go home when i leave the office they are sitting when i come back in the office in the morning they are still sitting so they have the ability to they should have the ability to work long hours and to be creative under pressure everybody can say that if i have one year i come up with a great creative concept but our creative concepts are required overnight sometimes yesterday the client says i want this idea and i want it yesterday whoever can deliver gets the job they need to come up with something new each day every day they 
if i uh, get slightly technical there are four different aspects that are part of the creative team 2d 3d concept copy and video so 2d is work, is making drawing making logos making working in two dimension 3d is making stages making exhibition stalls where our artists work in three direction three dimension then there are conceptualizers people who think of amazing concepts who apply their mind there are copywriters who have great command over the english or the hindi language and there are video editors people who can make very good videos and who can come up with great concepts for films uh, etc so this is what is the creative team all about uh, so i'll just do a quick recap client servicing and business development the face of the organization people who are great communicators and responsible for relationships with new and existing clients operations are the hands and legs of the organization people who have great analytical skills people who have great number skills and who have the ability to de deliver under pressure creative team these are the innovators these are the people with the crazy ideas who can think of the extraordinary and come up with new concepts every day and finally support functions now these the first three were unique to the event management world support functions are common to any company such as hr finance administration it front desk etc these are the people who help the others in doing their job their task is to create a comfortable safe productive and uninterrupted work environment for all so the hr department the finance department the admin department the it department front desk etc are the people who are part of the support function their job is to ensure that everybody else can do their job well so uh, one of the most important aspect of hr department what are the issues that that uh, face are faced by the hr department there is lack of competitiveness there's attrition there's absenteeism there's poor quality and they usually need to motivate the staff members constantly train them motivate them and ensure that they are committed to give their best in order to achieve the individual and organization now each individual has certain goals and the organization has certain goals when those goals match when the individual's goals match with those goals of the organization that is where the real magic happens so their job is to ensure that good employees are retained in an organization their job is to ensure that the work environment is positive competitive and there is enough motivation for everybody to give in their best in the organization so this was all about the support functions um and these were the different departments in an organization i have been asked to cover a little bit of theory so one theory which i always like is the maslow's theory you can look it up it's about the hierarchy of needs it talks about an order of needs uh there is a lower order of needs which needs to be satisfied that is when an employee moves up to a higher order of needs and as the employee moves up the ladder the order of needs keeps changing and their fulfillment also keeps changing so if we look at the pyramid that maslow talks about it talks about first the basic needs which are the physiological needs what are the physiological needs roti kapda makan bed house pani those are the phys physical needs that a person has to exist then there are the safety needs right i need to have money i need to have a, a decent bank account i need to have security i need to have a house then there is a need of love and belonging whether it is at home or in an organization an employee has to feel loved and an employee has to feel part of the entire environment they have to belong there then it's about esteem right where it is about getting recognized uh, it's about getting rewards it's about uh, making sure that your peers respect you and finally is the highest which is self actualization that is about the person feeling good about himself where everybody respects that person where that person has become an authority where that person has actually achieved what is called self actualization in a way uh, that is the moksha stage in maslow's theory so one so you can't achieve the esteem need without having the physiological needs so it is you have to first add have the physiological needs taken care of then you need to have the safety needs taken care of then you need to have the love belonging needs taken then you need to have the esteem needs taken care of when all these are taken care of that is when the self actualization need really is fulfilled and that is what maslow says 
that each of these layers have to form on one top one on top of the other it is not this or that it is this and that so this need then that need and as we go up the ladder the needs become more and more complex and for any good hr manager understanding this pyramid is really important so this my friends is uh, the maslow's uh, theory which is also called the hierarchy of needs um, now i will very quickly cover i am running out of time but i will very quickly cover what are the various motivation techniques that an hr department uses to motivate its employees in an event management scenario so there are monthly and quarterly rnr rnr stands for rewards and recognitions where we talk about who has got the maximum business who's taken out the maximum profitability who's come up with the best ideas etc etc there are annual and half yearly employees uh, offsites that are done for all employees there's a yearly town hall that at least my organization does where we share all the numbers of an organization uh, uh, with all the employees and how the organization has really performed through the year which gives them a sense of ownership uh, there are various games and activities that we conduct for work life balance uh, yoga uh, zumba etc various uh, activities that we conduct on a regular basis these are the various motivation techniques that are done in an organization where employees are kept motivated using various techniques uh, and as the need arises there are various other techniques that we use Uh, but these are some of the motivation techniques that we use in our organization this year uh, within this limited time i hope i have been able to take you through the different departments in an organ in a event management company and maslow's theory of hierarchy of needs and finally the motivation techniques that are used in an event management organization thank you for listening and i hope i have been able to explain some aspects of hr in an event management organization thank you thank you ankur uh that was a much needed deep dive into the various job roles and departments in an event management company very comprehensively you have covered client servicing production creative and what the support functions are and above all uh the motivational aspect you know which is the driving force into team building and much more so we all know now that organizations are made of people and they need to be motivated as part of an organization for excellent team work and to make the work environment more uh, competitive positively competitive i would say so wonderful presentation out there and uh, uh, the usp of your company is uh, you know uh, your team and uh, your and your organization is recognized for his uh events and experiential marketing uh, endeavors all across india and uh, our learners would be uh, very interested to uh, know what kind of activities you do for you know uh, what hr activities are done in your organization so that they could uh, relate to what you've just said you know so uh, if you can show some of the activities of your organization hr activities that would be really wonderful sure sure i will do that we have a small coffee table book i'll just very quickly share that so that uh, all the viewers can get an idea i hope my screen is visible yeah. yes it is is my screen visible okay yes, yes. so uh, this is a small coffee table book uh, about who we are what is the kind of work that we do this is our team what is our vision our values our beliefs uh, it it will take another session to go through this in detail but uh, this is our journey from 2002 to 2020 our different milestones what are our vision mission values what differentiates us from different agencies where are our offices delhi bombay bangalore and uh, some awards that we've won these are glimpses of some of the events that we've done this is amazon sambhav uh, recently this make me up kalabar rado armani mercedes huawei lotus amlees nike adidas um if i give you details about all this it will take half an hour just to explain this but these are some of the and uh, these are some of the new avenues that we have launched in these times of covid
coming straight to some of our HR initiatives. For example, this is on the left. You can see these are the rewards and recognitions that we do every month uh, for uh, employees who have achieved something spectacular. Um, uh, these are lunches and, and, and get togethers that we do in winters on our terrace and in different parts of our office. Uh, we do activities at Diwali, we do an annual offsite, we do our town hall, um, we have a games uh, area in office, we've got table tennis, foosball, Christmas celebrations across our three offices. Um, and this is our annual party that we do. So this is the kind of work, uh, you know, the, every year we have these kind of uh, get togethers. These are basically to motivate and engage our employees, different kind of celebrations that we do. Hope this has given you a glimpse of the kind of activities that we really do to motivate our employees. Thank you, Ankur, for that wonderful uh, glimpse of the snapshots of activities which your organization does for uh, human to build human resources and retain them. Uh, this brings us to the end of this session. I'm sure all learners have been able to gain deeper insights into human resource planning for events. Through this presentation by Ankur, one of the eminent experts of the event industry, and also through the activities uh, of his organization, which he shared in this session. Thank you so much, Ankur, for joining in this session and enlightening our learners regarding human resource planning for events. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, learners. Thank you. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.